Um, Max is excited. They're gonna go drop off these scooters um, en route to their proper locations to drop them off. I wanted to talk about how these scooter programs apparently, I guess, not paying some of us full price for uh, the scooters that we pick up. So you get 10 or 20 of them, and I guess they're only paying you for 15 or you know, five or two thirds of whatever you pick up. And that's kind of unfortunate, but I don't know. I, I just started, I'm new to this whole thing. Uh, I've been like doing it for a couple weeks now. So, just see how it goes. Um, I'm pretty strict too. I dropped off a couple of the scooters and you know, it was too far from the curb or too close to the curb. Sometimes they give you some really bad ones where there's not even concrete around that you can put these scooters down. And, uh, I don't know, it's just kind of strange that they're so strict with it when it's, when it can be easy. I get it, not, no sidewalks and stuff like that, I get it. No driveways, no handicap, but, I mean, come on. When they're spaced out a little quarter inch apart too far or something, that's a little much, but e either way, I get it. Anyways, we're gonna go to this location and take out these scooters that we charged last night and uh, let's see how it goes. Maybe afterwards we'll go hunt some more scooters down and just kind of go throughout the day. I'm just doing this to, you know, inform other people that are interested or want to join us. You know, I, I'm just cruising around in that little Tacoma, picking these things up and dropping them off. Let's see if it's worth the time or not. I mean, I'm on, been on the road right now for maybe 10 minutes, left the house. It's within city limits, you know, like, it's all good. I, I don't know. Just cruising, enjoying time with the boys back here. We got my older one back there. He's, you know, navigating for me, taught me left, right, streets, all that. And then we got the goofball over here being the super goof dude. We got Max, our protector, the killer. So, all right, guys, we'll catch up with you in a minute. We'll get to this uh, location, and we'll let you know how it goes to kind of give you a run-through of that. All right, we are pulling up to our destination, location. I'm just going to scope it out real quick. Park safely. People, if you guys are going to start doing this, I guess just throwing on your hazards and parking in the middle of the street or the curb or something like that, it's not very cool. You can get tickets, you can get in big troubles, parking in handicaps and stuff like that. Not cool, man. Not cool. So I think it's up here. We're going to our location right now. I think it's... I think it is right there. Cool, guys. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. Alright guys, give us a moment, we're going to find out exactly where this thing is and we'll be right back. Alright, we're back. So, we, we were a little off. That's another thing with these GPS dealios, especially with the scooters. Uh, they're not always on point. When you pick the locations to drop them off, like you'll be 30 feet off, 12 feet off. So, we're backing up right now, parking. Grab these scooters and drop them off at their location, and uh, kind of go from there. So, we'll drop off five of them. Be right back in a few. All right, so that one was fairly easy. Besides having to take the scooters uphill, um, should have parked up there. Either way, it would have been a hill climb regardless. But pretty easy. The scans went really smooth. Uh, I found another location to drop off five more. And, um, but it's not a five spot, so I'm gonna go to two more spots. Uh, go from there, so it's not too far from here. Let's go see how that goes for us. Um, hopefully there's parking too, that's kind of a big deal. Uh, it's funny, but you can see this guy in the picture. Uh, you probably can't see it. Parked in the red zone. Like, middle of the night, I get it, but damn, that's, that's not safe, dude. 
Can you see that? Yeah. Anyways, don't do that. Like, I don't know. I don't want you guys getting tickets. I, don't, I wouldn't want to get hit by a car. That would suck. Um, so next spot, we're off. We're going to check it out and see how it goes. Be back in a few. You guys buckled up? Yep. All right, let's go. All right, so we got a little distracted there. Uh, we drove right past that and make a U-turn and all that. Um, kids are, we're at the location right now. Kids are out there playing with Max, Maximus Prime. Uh, now I'm gonna find exactly where the spot is, and then I'll let you know how this one goes. Sometimes they don't go smooth, but today's been pretty easy. I mean, I just did the other one, five of them done. Uh, so I'll get back to you guys in a few, thanks. Make sure you get enough of your scooters to make your time worth the drive and keep it local. Go early. Uh, we started late today, so um, no big deal. Uh, I know that they say that if you go too late, they'll take half your pay or something. Uh, it's gonna bum me out if it's like that, but I mean, I got I got these two, to, you know, take care of and other things that are a little more important than the scooters, but. I just wanted to make a little bit of extra money, something easy, and you get to explore the town with the kids, bonding time, the doggy boy. Uh, so let's go drop off this last one and see how it goes and get some munches in a little bit. All right, we'll see you in a few. All right, so I was looking for the a single spot to locate these scooters. Um, I found one, it's a single, it's uh, near uh, college. So we're gonna go drive that way right now and drop off the last one. I had a hard time finding a good one because some of the times these, the parking area, like I know people like to park in the middle of the street or on the curb, red zones and such. I don't, I'm not, I'm not, it's not worth it for me. I'm not gonna do that. Um, I got the kids too, so I wanna make sure I'm parking somewhere safe enough. No crazy drivers and such, so. I know that could happen anywhere, it doesn't matter, but realistically, I uh, just want to park easy. I don't want a ticket, I can't afford that. Um, so, all right, let's go drop this thing off. All right, pulled up to the last location to drop off the scooter. Uh, one more, then we're done. Maybe go hunt some more after that, but that's basically it. It was pretty smooth today. Uh, maybe I'll do another one of these tonight about hunting them. Uh, you gotta, you know, you gotta put them up perfect, basically, close to the cur curb, not too close, not in the sidewalks, no handicaps, no driveways, no, no dirt, no, no red parking, no, no parking in the red zones. Uh, that's for the drivers. The scooters need to be in a level, paved concrete area, not in the dirt. And, uh, yeah, so, I'll, you know, let me know what you guys think, leave a comment, let me, I don't know, maybe do the whole su subscribe thing, I'm, I don't know, I don't know anything about that stuff, but, like, like and subscribe, um, to, uh, I don't know what my name will be, maybe, um, uh, nice, it will make it, no, tabby.com, or, I don't know, I don't know, who knows, so, all right, guys. That was it. That's all we got. Say bye, Max. Bye. He needs to get out of party. All right. All right. Good. Good drop off on the bird. Quick and easy. We're out of here. Go get some pizza. Thanks, guys. Subscribe. Like I said.